when you love video games like I do, and you're talking about video games like I am, you can't avoid the new amazing trend of motion capture and performance capture, allowing all of our favorite devs to create more immersive worlds with real characters, more, more seemingly real characters that we can really project onto as a gamer and have a more rewarding narrative experience with it. A horror game can be that much scarier if the people around us look really, really horrified, all of the subtleties, their brow like furrows, oh no, something's scratching in the vents, you know, they're Mm, their lips purse, those lines appear on their faces. We see all of those things and we think, ooh, I'm really there. Uh, truly uh, frightening, right? So, it's a beautiful thing, performance capture. Being able to stick all of those little sticky balls onto a person's face, film it, and get a really real proper emotional response to something that a video game character can display. Brilliant, right? Yes, but it's got one major important problem that I'd like to talk about this week, something the video games industry has been grappling with for the last couple years, and that I've been, you know, quietly laughing about the whole time, and it's called the Uncanny Valley. Now, if you're not familiar with the Uncanny Valley, um, well, let's break it down. The uh, valley is referring to a dip in a chart that I'm going to describe to you in a moment. Uncanny is a Freudian term for something that is familiar, yet wrong at the same time. Now, uh, uh, so let's imagine that spectrum I was just talking about. On one end, we've got a smiley face, or like maybe Toon Link, right? It's a line and two dots, and it represents a face. And we project it as such because humans have this interesting thing where we like to just humanize, anthropomorphize anything we look at. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum from the smiley face, I want you to picture going whoop. Uh, on that opposite end of the spectrum, you see, is a photorealistic human face, indistinguishable from the real thing. It must be the real thing, we think. Now, um, I made this motion, didn't I? As if from smiley face all the way up to photorealistic face, we just empathize with it and like it more and more and more and more on a straight line, straight up. But this is not the case. You see, right before we achieve ultimate empathizing with something that looks just perfectly human, there's a huge dip. Not just a dip, it drops straight down, hitting zero. No longer do we uh, uh, empathize with the character at all. In fact, what we do now is we hate and fear it. This is called the uncanny valley, this valley in our data, in our chart of empathizing with a fictional uh, representation of character. Now see, the Uncanny Valley is in full swing right now in video gaming. Using that face capture technology, we'll be playing games like Mass Effect and suspending our Uncanny Valley feelings about it the whole time. But you can't argue that when you were playing Mass Effect once, seriously, go back and play it, uh, that the dead-eyed dull eye stare of Commander Shepard when he's talking to someone is silly, but maybe sometimes it's kind of a nervous laughter. He looks so almost human. You can see the, the, the face of male Shepard is actually some Swedish uh, underwear model, I do believe, and he looks quite a bit like him. But if that man came up to you just like, Let's talk about something else. <laughs>